Hello there, Eric here with a brief video showing how I created the rotating LED effect in the bus collectors for the Revell 1600 TOS Enterprise. I decided on the effect I wanted and searched the forums. I found a circuit on starshipmodeler.com forum from a user named Starwin with a circuit that uh, would work for what I was looking for. I test on a breadboard then uh, modified the circuit uh, somewhat using Eagle CAD. Once I had a working circuit, I tested it on a breadboard. I drilled uh, 12 3 millimeter LED holes into a uh, circular disc, which is placed in the nacelle, hooked it up to the breadboard and tested it, uh, and everything seemed to work well. For this circuit, here is testing with a uh, diffusion dome in place that goes inside the nacelle. Once I was satisfied with the circuit, I designed the board, which would then be etched utilizing the photosensitive uh, board from MG Chemicals. All the circuit boards for the model were printed on to a uh, transparency shown here, which was then uh, placed on a photosensitized board and exposed. Uh, with a fluorescent lamp for approximately 10 minutes. The board was then etched with ferric chloride. Uh, after etching the board, uh, the board was tinned and all the boards were cut to size. And the boards are shown here. The ones on the left are for the busted collectors and the two on the right are for the saucer and the engineering hull. I went with a modular design with each component having its own board. Here I'm shown drilling the holes in the board for the components. The components are then soldered into the board and everything hooked up and uh, thankfully it worked. Here are the color LEDs rotating. After testing it extensively I installed it into the nacelles, hot glued the board into place and ran it for a few days to make sure everything worked well, moved it around, shook it around, make sure there are no shorts involved and once I was satisfied that it was going to work long term I uh, tested the, some diffusion methods with frosting the domes using polyfill, etc. Then uh, sealed the nacelles up and uh, here we have the two completed nacelles except the uh, nacelle on the right, the dome is not completely frosted yet so the diffusion is not quite right and it appears overexposed on the camera. The one on the left is closer to how it appears to the naked eye. So both are now complete and in the process, I'm in the process of cleaning everything up with uh, putty work on the seams, etc. And there you have it, a brief overview of how I built the rotating LED effect for the busted collectors. I've learned quite a bit in uh, completing this uh, part of the project, and I would be happy to share any information that I have learned along the way. I'm on the Sci-Fi Model Action Forum, username Viabon. And as my favorite uh, posters uh, like to say, see you around and uh, happy modeling.